In the heart of the Pacific, an often underestimated shield stands vigilant. Japan, a nation synonymous with peace, harbors a military prowess that contradicts its pacifist constitution. With a defense budget of around $50 billion, it's a force that's both formidable and meticulously managed. Ranked 8th out of 145 countries by the Global Firepower Index for 2023, Japan's strategic commitment is clear. This position on the world stage is not just about military might. It encompasses Japan's economic resilience, technological innovation, and sophisticated infrastructure. From this vantage point, we look back to the roots of Japan's strength, which can be traced to the ashes of World War II. It was then that an alliance was forged in the pursuit of peace, an alliance that has since matured into a dynamic defense partnership, shaping the Asia-Pacific stage and beyond. With over 120 U.S. bases scattered across its islands, Japan's strategic importance is undeniable. These are not mere outposts, but the vital sinews of Japan's security, deterring threats and safeguarding sovereignty. However, the land of the rising sun does not merely bask in the shadow of its ally. Its self-defense forces, a cadre of elite warriors, is a fusion of tradition and cutting-edge technology, constantly adapting to the drumbeat of New Age challenges. The Ground Self-Defense Force, with 150,000 personnel, boasts the formidable Type 10 main battle tank and the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, symbols of land-based might and aerial prowess. The Type 96 wheeled armored personnel carrier stands ready, a testament to mobility and protection, ensuring the safe transport of Japan's finest through any terrain, while the Type 99 self-propelled howitzers guard them from afar. The Type 12 is a key component of Japan's air defense system, deployed around the country to protect against a variety of threats, including ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and aircraft. The Type 12 is also capable of engaging ground targets, making it a versatile weapon system. At sea, the Maritime Self-Defense Force, with 51,000 personnel, commands respect with the Izumo-class helicopter destroyer, a titan of the waves, projecting power and providing a platform for a multitude of defensive operations. The Mogami-class frigate, sleek and agile, patrols the waters, a sentinel of the deep, Beneath the waves, the Soryu-class submarine lurks silently, a phantom in the vast ocean, guarding against unseen threats. In the skies, pilots of Japan's Air Self-Defense Force are among the most highly trained in the world. They undergo a rigorous training program that encompasses both ground and flight training. With 50,000 personnel, Japan's Air Self-Defense Force reigns supreme. The F-35, a Lightning II stealth fighter akin to a ghostly apparition, represents the pinnacle of aerial dominance, virtually invisible and lethally effective. The F-15J Eagle, an air superiority fighter, soars with fierce grace, a guardian maintaining an unblinking vigil over sovereign skies. The E-7A Wedgetail Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft casts a net of vigilance across the horizon, an airborne sentinel that never sleeps, ensuring a shield of forewarning and strategic command. The path to remilitarization is laden with historical echoes, stirring a cauldron of debate. But Japan treads carefully, its military posture defensive, bound by the chains of its pacifist creed. In the intricate tapestry of Asia-Pacific security, Japan's military strength is a silent sentinel. Its capabilities, while formidable, are but pieces in a grander mosaic of regional balance, complemented by the unwavering U.S. alliance. This alliance is more than a military pact. It's a pillar of peace, a deterrent to aggression, ensuring Japan remains a bulwark against the tides of instability. As the horizon of security shifts, so too does Japan's military. With advancements in cyber, space, and electronic warfare, Japan is not just keeping pace but setting the tempo for non-traditional domains of defense. These advancements are not just about keeping up with the latest technology. They are about anticipating the future of warfare and preparing for threats that have yet to emerge. 
At the heart of this evolution lies a constitutional debate, a nation at a crossroads between its pacifist past and the geopolitical realities of today. Japan's military story is not an isolated narrative. It's a chapter in a larger book where the rise of neighboring forces and the strategic chess of global powers dictate the plot. With the dragon of China's ambitions soaring and the unpredictable specter of North Korea looming, Japan's defense strategy is a calculated response to the shifting sands of regional power dynamics. However, Japan knows a single sword can't defend an empire. Thus, it forges bonds with nations like Australia, India, and Southeast Asia, crafting a shield of collective security. These partnerships are not just about military alliances. They are about building a network of shared interests and mutual support that can act as a counterbalance to potential threats. Japan's military, once the harbinger of war, now stands as a beacon of stability. As it grows in capability, it shapes not just regional security, but contributes to peacekeeping and humanitarian missions worldwide. Japan's participation in international peacekeeping operations, from the Golan Heights to South Sudan, demonstrates its commitment to global security and the principles of the United Nations. The landscape is thought-provoking as Japan navigates its legacy and future in a world where the nature of power is ever-changing. The question lingers. Can anyone defeat Japan's military? Perhaps the more pertinent inquiry is not about defeat, but about the balance of peace. And in this balance, Japan's military might just be the keystone.